As the man made his entrance at the wedding, a wave of surprise swept through the attendees. Yet, when he grasped the microphone, a stunned silence enveloped the room. Neil, a homeless man in his 40s, only remembers waking up in a hospital about five years ago. He didn't even know his name, but the hospital staff called him Neil, so he started using that name. At the hospital, they told him he was found very hurt on the side of the road. It seemed like he was thrown out of a car that crashed and caught fire at the bottom of a cliff. Everyone else in the car died, but he survived. The other people in the car were all men, and nobody knew why they were together. The doctors knew that the accident caused him to have amnesia, which means he couldn't remember things from before. They believed it would get better with time, so when he got better, it let him leave the hospital. They hoped he would find his way back home, but he didn't know where that was. Neil didn't go back to his home because he didn't remember where it was. When they let him leave the hospital, he didn't know where to go. He sat at a bus station for a long time, not knowing what to do. Eventually, he got on the last bus, and it took him to the final stop. That's where he met Angelo, who found him wandering around the streets. Angelo asked if he needed a place to sleep, and Neil said yes. Angelo took him to a place where other homeless people stayed, not far from the bus station. Neil was surprised to see many tents in one spot, and the people there were really friendly. They asked him questions, but he didn't have answers. Still, they gave him a place to sleep. As time passed, Neil got used to living like a homeless person. Angelo showed him how to get the things he needed to survive, and he was okay with his life. But there was always something bothering him. He wanted to remember what his life was like before the accident, but he couldn't. There was one thing Neil could remember, though, a song. He didn't know where he had heard it, but whenever he sang it, it made him feel better. Whenever he sang it, he had sung the song every night since he got to the homeless hub, and soon he was known as Neil the Singer. Sometimes, when the people at the shelter wanted to have fun, they asked Neil to sing, but he always sang the same song, and after a while, they got tired of hearing it. One day, Neil and his friend Angelo were looking for food, and they found a place where there was loud music. Neil stopped to listen, and he started singing along. He knew the words from his memory, and it made him happy to remember something from his past. So, after that, he went to that place every day to listen to music. He didn't always know the words, but he learned a bunch of songs and sang them to entertain the people at the shelter. One day, a friend suggested that he could sing and earn some money. Everybody agreed, and that's when he started charging $1 for each song request. He even saved up to buy a guitar. Neil, the singer, became really popular. He always sat on sidewalks with a cardboard on his neck that read, Make your song request and I'll grant your wishes for a dollar. Neil always took his earnings to the shelter for them to be shared. It seemed like Neil was comfortable with his new life, but there was still that question about his past. Just on the other side of the country, a couple was planning their wedding. Kevin and Carol had gone above and beyond to ensure their wedding was perfect. They had delayed the wedding ceremony for years to have their fairy tale wedding. They got the designer outfits and even planned the destination wedding as it was all part of their dream. But as the wedding day came closer, Carol started feeling sad. As a girl, she had dreamed of her dad walking her down the aisle. But her dad was not around, so she couldn't spend the significant moment with him. Her brother tried to cheer her up by offering to take on their dad's role, but it wasn't just the same. Just two days before the wedding, they flew to the destination of their wedding to set everything up. But that night, before the wedding, they got a message from the band that was supposed to play that their flight had been delayed, and they wouldn't be able to make it in time for their wedding. Carol couldn't believe it. Her perfect wedding would be ruined if they didn't get someone to sing. Her friend suggested getting a DJ, but none was available. Someone then suggested compiling a playlist of wedding team songs on their phone and connecting it to the speakers. Carol broke down in tears at the thought of it, but she agreed anyway, as there was no other option left. After the music issue was resolved, the groom and his friends went to the town for the bachelor's eve. On their way, they heard a homeless man sing to a group of people. His voice was so sonorous, and a thought popped into the groom's head. He walked up to the man and asked him to sing a wedding song. After giving the man a dollar, the man's voice filled the air. Kevin, the groom, then asked Neil if he would like to sing at the real wedding the next day, and the homeless man said yes. The next day, the groomsmen went to find Neil, who usually stayed in his usual spot. He had tried to put on nicer clothes, but his outfit was old and dirty. The groomsmen knew he wouldn't have anything fancy to wear, so they got him some new clothes. 
His messy beard and long hair still made him look a little rough, but he looked better. They told him to come up on stage and sing when it was time for the bride and groom to have their first dance. Before the wedding reception, the groom had told his bride that he had a surprise, but she didn't know what it was. When it was time for their first dance, she saw a man with a guitar walking up to the stage. Carol and some of the guests weren't sure about how he looked. They were actually a bit surprised and wondered who this not-so-well-dressed man was. But before Carol could get upset once again, the man opened his mouth and began to sing. His voice was incredible. Carol was so surprised and happy, and Kevin was pleased as well. Carol kept asking where Kevin had found him, but he didn't give her an answer. He just said, don't worry, my love, let's enjoy our wedding party. After Neil sang the first song, people wanted to hear more. The first song that popped into his head was the same one he had sung when he first started performing at the shelter. When he got the microphone and started singing, something surprising happened. The bride, the lady in the white wedding dress, stopped dancing. She looked closely at the homeless man singing and said, Dad. She said this because her dad had written that very song for her, and they used to sing it together a lot when she was younger. Everyone in the wedding hall was confused at first, but then the bride walked closer to Neil. Her eyes showed that she recognized him, and she hugged him tightly, tears streaming down her face. Her mom and brother also came up to the stage to confirm what she had said. When they realized it was true, they hugged Neil too. Neil was confused, but as they hugged him, he started remembering their faces and especially the face of his wife. Kevin didn't understand what was happening, but when Carol rushed over to hug him, he felt like he had made a really good choice by asking the homeless man to sing at their wedding. This homeless man, whose real name was Jason, but they called him Neil, used to be in a music group. They were quite good and got asked to perform at different places. One year, when they had their biggest show ever in a faraway state, they decided to save money by driving there instead of flying. While they were on the way to the show, they got into a terrible car crash. People thought everyone in the car had died, but Neil survived. He was amazed to discover that he still had a family, even though he couldn't remember them at first. Over time, he started remembering things little by little as he spent more time with his family. Even though he went by the name Neil now, he still stayed friends with the people at the homeless shelter. He visited them a lot and brought them presents and food to show he cared. Neil also kept doing what he was really good at singing and performing. He entertained people at different events and he made new happy memories with his daughter and the rest of his family. What do you think of Neil's story? Share your thoughts with me in the comment section. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Also subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.